Hi, my name is Duke Thompson, and I'm going to take you on a journey that shows how incredible a piano is. Oh, what a piano can do! I have always been amazed by the wonderful different sounds and effects that a piano has. One of my favorite pieces makes the piano sound like a speeding locomotive going faster and faster and blowing its horn. Listen to this. In my piano version of the 1930s bluegrass tune, Orange Blossom Special, you can hear the train traveling from Florida with its full cargo of oranges up to the swankiest hotels in New York and Boston. Now the train cannot waste any time getting these oranges up to New York and Boston because these oranges must not spoil and the train moves along at a pretty good clip. Things get even more exciting. The refrigeration units in cars number two and three break down. The engineer finds out about this. He has to put the pedal down to the metal and fly up those tracks. Well, that was quite a trip. I think we did get those oranges up to New York and Boston on time. Let's switch gears now to one of the great geniuses of all time, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Mozart lived at the time of George Washington in Europe. The cities of Salzburg and Vienna is where he called home. He was a happy, happy individual and his music reflected this. Most of the music he wrote was in the happy sounding major key. Mozart were alive today, and a friend of his was having a birthday, I bet you he would have some fun with it. So if you're having a birthday, consider this a birthday present to you from Mozart and me.
To discover more about what a piano can do, log on to DukeThompson.com. Music can be an emotional experience. It can reach deeply into the spirit and the soul. It can bring memories of joy, of sadness, of success, and of trauma. It can help speed up the healing process. So let us delve now into the emotional terrain of music for the inner self. This is a piece I wrote during my recovery from a near-death automobile accident. I had been in the hospital for six weeks. My shoulder was crushed, my ribs were broken, my lung was collapsed, and I had a fairly significant brain injury. I had so much on my mind. I did not know if I would ever play the piano again. I did not know if I would be able to teach music. I had much on my mind, lots to consider. The name of this piece is Lots to Consider. I was thinking about my life, my health, my career, and my future. Music can touch our spirit and soul in many different ways. This piece by Camille Sanson has a powerful impact.
Music can connect people with their thoughts, their feelings, and their memories. This next piece may be familiar to you. It's a classic rock tune. Let it take you, each one of you, to your different memories, your different associations. Sit back, take a deep breath, and let this music take you wherever it may. Whiter Shade of Pale by Procol Harum, a piece that affects everyone in their own individual way. No matter what your association might be, this music, which borrows from the style of Bach, is definitely music for the inner self. Bring more music into your life. Find out where there's music in your neighborhood. An incredible thing is happening all around the world. Pianos are appearing in public places and people are sitting down and playing them. From chopsticks to Chopin. It's the brainchild of British artist Luke Jerram. He launched a program that places donated pianos in public places where people, anybody really, can sit down and play. When the program came to New York City, I sat down at one of those pianos and paid tribute to one of the great icons of New York, George Gershwin. These public pianos have been cropping up in places like Brazil, London, Spain, and here in the U.S. The Maryland Conservatory of Music donated a piano as part of the Be a Key Player program in Maryland, and people from all walks of life and all playing abilities brought music to life for everyone to hear. In Sydney, Australia, a couple met at one of these pianos and are now married. Now that's the power of the piano. If you'd like more information about the Public Piano Project around the world, click on this website. The piano is an instrument that plays many different styles, and we're now going to go to the world of the blues. I'm going to play two pieces for you. The first one is called Cute Girl, a piece that I wrote. And you'll hear in this piece the motive of a guy when he whistles to a cute girl, like this. And on the piano, it sounds like this. So you'll be hearing that throughout. So here we have Cute Girl.
So there you have it, cute girl. And now we're going to go to a medley, a medley of tunes from the 60s and 70s using the language of the blues. The blues, it's a wonderful language, a collection of notes that is different from classical, different from pop, and different from rock. And you'll hear the house of the rising sun, you'll hear people are strange of the doors, and you'll hear the great standard of Bob Marley, I shot the sheriff. Here is the medley in the blues. Thank you for coming on this tour of the piano with me. I'm Duke Thompson, and I'd like to leave you with one final piece, one of the great rock classics, Roundabout by Yes. See you next time on Oh, What a Piano Can Do.
Thank you.